Hi, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackYear.com, and man, look what happened. This is that 2017 R6 project bike that we've been working on for one of our local riders, Brian. Did all kinds of cool stuff to this. He took it for the first track day of the year and went down on the very first lap of the year. The reality is, it happens, right? You're out there, you're riding on the street or on the track, things can happen and as you can see they happen to ride this stuff's possible that's why you put all these pieces on there the sliders the covers all that stuff to try and help minimize damage he really was pretty fortunate end of the day the rg rg frame slider did a great job that worked the driven lever guard, well that worked great too. We do have a little bit of damage that we're repairing. That's the purpose of this video. This had the RNG cover protector over it. You can see the video that we did on that. The crash that he had was kind of unique and I don't know if it was a problem with the product itself, okay, the, the design of the overcover, or just the nature of the crash because these are used in British Superbike. They've been crashed on before on an R6, that's for sure. But what ended up happening was the bolt right here, when the bike impacted the ground, it was a slow speed crash, cold track, cold tires of course, Ryan, come on buddy, be smarter next time, right? And try to sleep the day before you ride. The bolt impacted, bent the bolt, and it put a crack in the OEM cover. So we're gonna upgrade them into the Woodcraft full stator cover. You can see, compared to an OEM cover, this is way more robust. You're not breaking this. You're probably going to break the motor case before you break this. These are designed to manage that impact. They also have a replaceable slider puck, which, of course, I chose blue. Because if I would have let Ryan choose it, he would have chose black. Who likes black when you can have blue? Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm also going to give a, a shout out too. He was riding with Sport Bike Track Time at Grattan Raceway. When he had this incident, the staff at STT jumped in and they helped him get the bike back together, made a little repair here so the fluid was no longer coming out, right? Because he had a little bit of an oil leak in this area and you certainly don't want to ride like that. It's a friend of mine and one of the staffers at STT helped Ryan get his bike back out, got him back out riding. He rode on Saturday and then went out Sunday and had a good day of riding. So back on track and that's that whole track community really coming together. STT is a quality organization. If you haven't ridden with them before, you're in the Midwest, I definitely recommend it. So installation of this cover, this is fairly straightforward over at Woodcraft. They do a great job with the instructions. Always very thorough. So I encourage you to look at those. Each bike's a little bit different. For what we're doing here, we're going to begin by taking off this nasty JB Weld bolt that they put in there. Okay, the rest of them will be 5 mil. This particular Woodcraft cover ships complete with a new gasket. I do have some high temp silicone that we're going to be using too. And I'll show you where we will use that and why we will be using that on this install. We're going to get our fasteners out and then remove the cover like so. At the end of the day, this really is a pretty easy install and you can see right here you know and that's the difference with a OE cover this is just cast okay that crack right there much more brittle nowhere near as strong as this machined piece of billet aluminum okay so you know how when I do these install videos I'm always telling you keep all your OE hardware. That's what I do. That's what I've done over the years. This is just a small sampling. I got boxes of this stuff over there. So 
Obviously, I mean, I'm not putting this thing back in there. Okay, that's something that my buddy Dave probably dug out of his spares. I'm taking that. Definitely not putting this bolt back in there. We're throwing that one out. Okay, but I was able to find enough fasteners so that we can put this all back together with nice OE style stuff. Okay, because you want to do a good job. Keep all your stuff. Now the gasket, the OE gasket is still on the motor case. You'll be able to pull most of it off. Okay, so go ahead and pull that off like so. Now you need to scrape the surface. You want to watch and try to really minimize the debris. But you get inside the motor case, so I'm going to scrape this. The stuff comes off relatively easy, and I'm trying to do it in a way where everything falls outside. Pretty sure Ryan just changed the oil. Realistically, best practice here would be change the oil right after you're done here. Being open and honest, I have done this more than once without changing oil. After the fact, if you're smart about it and you do a good clean job, you can get away with it. Okay, I've got the surface scraped. We're gonna clean it in a minute and I'll show you where I'm going to put the silicone sealant, okay? But right now, we need to mount up our skid plate. So I'm gonna get that. Ready to roll. They do recommend that you use a little bit of blue here. I'm gonna second that motion because the bolts for this are behind the cover, okay? So the only way to get to them is to pull the cover off. And you know, if one of them happens to be just worked its way a little bit loose, that's not gonna be any fun. And then we'll go ahead and torque all those down, obviously, before we get the cover on. It's a cool design, too, because that skid plate's actually replaceable, and a lot of times, if you do happen to fall on this cover, like I said, they hold up really, really well. Oftentimes, you're able to replace just that skid pad kind of freshen the cover up. These are obviously available as replacement items. Go ahead and torque those all down. Wipe off the excess. And then we're gonna clean the engine case. For that, I'm just gonna use a little brake cleaner here on a rag. Really, any degreaser is going to get this job done for you. If you want this to seal, it's definitely important that the surfaces are clean and dry. The area where the oil will like to run a little bit is right down here at the bottom. So what I'll typically do is wipe back into the engine case just a little bit. And what that'll do is slow it down from running. Now I'm gonna get just a little bit, this high temp. You wanna use it right in this area here. It's just to deal with any imperfections from the harness there. And there's a split in the case right here. So you don't need a bunch, just a bit. Also on the case, you can see that dowel. Okay, that needs to come off. 
and let's slide into position there. Now we're ready for our gasket and cover. That little bit of uh, silicone is going to kind of help hold the gasket there for us. You need to get the cover lined up with those two dowels as you slide it over. Like so. Your bolts may look just a little bit different than what we have here. Because remember the OE bolts were gone. And we took those out and we replaced the uh, installed that over cover. Get the bolts started. Do not run anything down until you have all of them started. So no final torque now, just get them started. We'll do this going all the way around the cover. The two bolts down here that hold the clutch cable bracket are usually a little longer in length than the rest. As a reference. Also, when you're done, it's a really good idea to start it and warm it and check it for leaks. And then, of course, check it as it heat soaks and cools down. I'd love to do that, except for Ryan has the key in his pocket. So we will not be doing that on camera. But rest assured, it will happen before he goes out and rides again next. As you can see, this is a pretty basic project. I think most riders are going to be able to handle this, especially if you're on track doing track stuff. You know, it's, you're going to have the tools and supplies necessary to get this done. Now I'll just kind of run around it, get them all to the seat. If you like to use a torque wrench, now would be a good time to go grab that. Research your torque spec. I typically do not use a torque wrench because I like people giving me a hard time. Get them all to seat nice and even. So once again, no final torque here. And then what I'll do is I'll just cross over. Okay, once you have all the bolts just run down and seated evenly, using kind of a crisscross pattern, Remember, if you want to use a torque wrench, rock it out, man. Go for it. Go grab one. Apply final torque. Now what I like to do from there, I'll just kind of run around it. Make sure I've got them all. And that they're all even. Secure that, like so. And there you have it. If I had the key, if Ryan would have given me the key, well now I'd start the bike, I'd run it and check for leaks. Absolutely do not ride this motorcycle until you check for leaks. And also remember, best practice with this is do an oil change after you do this. You don't want any of that debris inside the motor. I'm going to let Ryan know if he wants to do that. He absolutely can. I feel like I did a pretty clean job. I think at the end of the day that he is going to be A-OK, -okay, right? So if he doesn't want to do it, he'll be good to go. The moral to this story is, right, when you go out, these cold weather days, be extra careful. Take your time. If you're all rushed and hurried and maybe if you only slept two hours the night before and you're scurrying to even get out on track, maybe you should pump the brakes, take a deep breath, and wait until you're 100% ready. 
And now this isn't just a beat up on Ryan's story because let me tell you, I have done some stuff that's way dumber than what he did. If you rewind the clock a little bit, there was a time that I went out and took one of the owners of Sport Bike Track Time way in the day, the previous owners, one of their bikes, actually Monty's wife Bonnie, I took her bike, I was gonna scrub in her new Pilot Power tires and guess what, man? I didn't even make it pit out at Gingerman and I crashed that bike. And then I got to put it in my trailer, take it home and paint it. So, it happens. Be ready for it and always pick the bike up, put it back together and get back out there. I'm Brian Van. This is our Woodcraft Stator Cover install on the 2017 crashed R6 STG project bike.